I'm sorry, y'all. Um, actually, some um, storage is making an app. My kids, they get close to my phone and download games and stuff. I just have to meet some so I get more, have more space. Uh, this is day 20, part 2, um, where I left off at. The girl came, the maid came. She was yelling and talking to my uncle. That, ah, 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 I can't work here no more and stuff. I said, well, what happened? Slow down, tell me. I know, uh, I know I got it. What happened? And uh, she said, there was a snake underneath me. The whole time I was doing laundry and stuff, washing your clothes. I can't do this no more. I don't get good, I mean, I don't get paid good enough, which she did. And um, she was just making excuses because that right there she really scared her. And it almost gave her a minor heart attack. And she was elderly too. I think she was the age, the age of 42. And um, yeah. And me and my sister just started laughing out of nowhere because we were kids, you know. But it was the green snake. And I think it was one of the baby snakes. It wasn't a big snake, it was a baby snake. Yeah, that was about it. And I also remember too, like I used to tell some of my classmates, you know, in America, and I told them like, yeah, um, I remember one time, my one of my cousins, right, we went in the jungle, and we saw like this big anaconda snake, and this anaconda snake just swallowed my cousin up, and then I started running. And still to this day, I never seen him, you know. But they keep asking me, "Well, um, did you ever came back, or did you like see him, or like what happened?" Um, when I was looking back, I just saw the snake spit him out. <laughs> they actually believe it, yo. He said, really? Wow, for real? Down the corner, the snake swallowed your cousin up, then spit him out? Which I got it from the uh, 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 Anaconda movie. <laughs> With uh, Angelina Jolie's dad playing. <laughs> yeah, it was a lie. It was just something I made up. Because I guess I just wanted people to like, like me at that time. <laughs> and, still, and still to this day, they ask me, yo, what happened to your cousin? Because I seen the people, right, that I told them, what happened, what happened to your cousin? Yeah, man. I don't know. You just spit him out. That's it. And I hope it's okay. <laughs> I said, man, praying for him, man. And I would like to tell them that, you know, it was just a joke. But then it will make me look like a liar, you know, because they believe me throughout school. <laughs> and I just can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Oh man, sometimes you gotta be careful what you say, or you mean, even though you make things up, because there's some people that will actually believe it. And then if you tell them it's not true, then they'll get off, and you know, oh well. <laughs> you should have common sense that it came from a movie. And what kind of, I don't call the snake will spit some, um, you know, somebody out. <laughs> I mean, if they spit somebody out, then there'll be bones, you know what I mean? But I told him, yeah, he spit him out, and he had, like, green slobbers on him. <laughs> but he was some bones and stuff. Man, that was so funny, man. <sighs> but yet, though, um, on the first, I was thinking about taking my kids to Flagship, where there's this nice pool and this nice jacuzzi over there, like a hot tub, and um, I was thinking also taking my wife's siblings, my little brother-in-laws and sister-in-law, so they'll have fun, and then I'll do a, um, not a blog for that, so on the first be looking out. Cause when I say something, I'll do it, you guys. You know, it's just I just haven't posted it yet. Cause after I do my videos, I give my videos after I upload it. I let my wife 
finish it or editing it and hashtag it. She knows things like that. I don't. I just know how to record and just upload. That's it. But if I get good at it, then I'll probably, you know, edit it myself. But I'll just have my voice to it. Because YouTube, you guys, you guys are very strict. Because I was playing this song. I was just jamming to a song. And you said something about copyright. That this song belongs to you. Like back then, I thought that we could like, you know, play songs and listen to songs and post it, you know. But now it's a copyright now, like a stealing and stuff. Like what? Like I said, like mostly all the beats that I be getting on here, it says free on there. So I kind of figure, oh, it's free. But they still got it. You still gotta say that I don't own this co this beat, this co uh, this copyright. Just my lyrics. But I know one day that I will get my own studio. I'll find a good studio. Cause like for real, for real, I can make any songs to any beat. That's how talented I am. Talented I am. And. Yeah, I mean, I can, like, also rap in my language, in Tagalog. And my wife, she's a good, good, good singer. She, she's gifted, y'all. She's very gifted. Because she made this um, music, this song, with her ex-boyfriend. I'm not going to say his name. And he be performing somewhere and stuff. And he still get paid for it and stuff. And my wife's voice is in there. But it is what it is, you know. She never sued him. She never asked for nothing. Because I guess she don't want nothing to do with her ex, period. But still, you could have got, you know, your fair share. But that's how it is. The music game works, you know. Sometimes these guys see what type of people or be careful what type of you make songs by. If you let 